What's going on guys? Pete out here with the top five new features included in the brand new Serato DJ 1.9.2 beta that just got released. Um, 1.9.2 comes with a plethora of bug fixes and stability fixes that uh, we're all looking forward to, but Serato also included a bunch of new features, uh, some that we've been waiting for and uh, some that we didn't expect at all, so let's get started. First would be the ability to put smart crates as sub crates. So previously, smart crates could only live outside right here and you couldn't stack them inside regular crates, nor could you put smart crates into smart crates, as you can see. Um, personally, I wish you could put smart crates into smart crates, um, like you can with iTunes and iTunes Smart Playlist. Um, you can kind of build them off each other and stack them in folders, but uh, with this uh, ability to at least put them in crates, you can kind of use these empty crates as folders for your smart crates. So for instance, I can just dump these all in here and it kind of mirrors my um, setup with iTunes Smart Playlist. So that's really nice, um, especially with the issues that people have been having with the newer versions of iTunes and Serato, things being broken. Um, this gives uh, users a new option to kind of mirror what they're doing in uh, iTunes into Serato, especially if you're using smart crates like, my, like myself. So really happy to see that. The second thing, second feature, number two, would be the ability to have secondary sort. So in um, the major DVSs like Serato or Tractor, um, you can sort one column, just click it. You can, for instance, by BPM, you can have it highest to lowest, lowest to highest, or artists in alphabetical order. Uh, but now you have the ability to go ahead and sort by artist first and then for instance say I want to know um, which Beyonce songs are slowest to fastest so I can just go ahead and hold down command or control and click on BPM and now notice the artist sort didn't change but the BPM sort changed so we still have all the Beyonce songs they're just in order in BPM order and of course I can reverse it and they're still there and all I got to do to get rid of that that sort is just click on another column and we're good to go. So number three would be the ability to name your loops. So this is something uh, that I wish they would have uh, added a while ago because uh, me personally, I like naming cue points. Like right here, for example, I have the first cue point, which is the beginning of the song, marked as four bars, just to let me know as a visual representation that the intro is four bars long. So now if I go ahead and add a loop, save it, I can do the same for the, the loops, which is nice if you have routines or special transitions or little mini routines where you have multiple loops saved and you want to know which one to jump to right away, just just like the cue points, a little uh, visual representation of that. <clears throat> the um, fourth new feature would be the, the new subscription service. So if you go ahead and look here, Previously, Serato DJ um, was available as a full license for anywhere from $150 to $99. Right now it's on sale, so you can buy it for $99. But now Serato is offering a subscription service where instead of paying the complete total, for $9.99 you get the full Serato DJ license plus the DVS expansion pack. And also you can subscribe to the just the expansion packs for $10, and I believe they have... A subscription for $14.99 that includes everything which is nice so why would you want a subscription uh, the number one case that comes to mind for me is for instance say you uh, pull up to a gig and the setup is CDJs and a Pioneer 900 mixer but the these DJs don't use Serato but of course you brought your laptop out and now if you didn't have a Serato box you wouldn't be able to play but say uh, you didn't have a Serato license, but you went ahead and just had Wi-Fi and you were able to subscribe, you could just plug directly into the mixer, be able to use the DVS expansion with the CDJs, and you're good to go um, without a box and could possibly save a gig. Um, this is nice because they're not forcing you to move the subscription service, but just giving you the option. So you can still buy the full software if you'd like and not worry about the subscription, or if you just need it in a pinch, it's available to you. So finally, my favorite kind of uh, unexpected feature of this update is the ability to 
reset played tracks on exit. So this is one thing that I always do as soon as I open Serato at a gig. I'll go ahead and click on history, reset the played tracks, make sure none of them are colored, just so I know that um, all the songs uh, are reset and I don't run into the issue of playing a song twice, um, if I don't want to, of course, um, which in most cases I don't. But it just gives you that option instead of having to spend the time every time you open Serato to hit reset. Now it's just an option in the setup where you can just click this and as soon as you um, exit Serato, those tracks are reset and when you open it, uh, the library is refreshed <clears throat> and you don't have to worry about remembering to hit that, which has happened to me a couple of times where I'll be like 10 minutes, 20 minutes into a gig and I'll forget that I haven't reset the history and I'll go into the history and reset it. But now in the back of my mind, oh, I really have to think about some, like did I play the song or not? So uh, it just kind of removes that worry. So once again, these are my top five uh, new features for Serato DJ 1.9.2. Uh, I'll go over them again. First would be the ability to put smart crates into sub crates. Uh, second would be the uh, sub or the secondary sorting for your library. Third would be the ability to name your loops. Fourth would be the new subscription service for the software instead of having to pay for it um, all at once. And fifth would be the new um, reset track play tracks on exit. Um, these are all great features, um, none that really stand out as like brand new eye-catching features, but just things that are really useful for a DJ that kind of knows the software inside and out and things that I think that'll be useful on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, again, this is PDOT. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments below. And also, if you have any suggestions for videos or things you want to see, leave those in the comments below as well. All right, peace.